Hey folks, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. So I got the Chevy on the charger because I'm going to start it up and turn it around. Um, haven't had on the charger long and it went from about five and a half amps down to two where you see it now. And I was using the battery in the air compressor last week and maybe the alternator's working again. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to patch these let me tilt the camera. Oh boy. There we go. So right there. Zoom back out. So right there where that 90 degree cutout is, I'm going to patch those in today. That one and that one right there. And a buddy of mine. Thank you, Robert. Stopped by last night and brought me a bunch of rusty, rusty steel right there. And I found two pieces that are the same thickness as those brackets. 2.75 thousandths of an inch thick. So I'm, uh, Going to get the Chevy fired up here. And we're going to turn it around. Oh, that thing's tight. So just turn the fuel on right in there. on let's make sure she's in neutral I haven't started her in a while oh wow that's <laughs> that's pretty rare um, I'm trying to get this thing centered how I like my trucks to start up. Yeah, it's cold. But I haven't started it in about a week. That's good because the timing's right on. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I created a little a little shade blind for the camera. Hopefully this will shade it from the sun and let's move the Chevy.
Okay, that's good. So we're in the shade now, and uh, I gotta sandblast these pieces of metal and clean them up a bit, and then uh, then we'll be ready to go. So I'll be back. All right. So I prepped the piece of metal. And I just disconnected the battery from the truck. Because I don't want the well current to go through the truck and into the battery. And cause it to blow up. So I put a pretty heavy chamfer in here so that I can get down inside and Laying a good root pass. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's good. Here we go. My neighborhood murder of crows flying over. All right, so I'll do uh, the outside end. We need to turn that speed up just a bit. All right. And the heat. Get this side over here. All right. I have to tighten the feed clamp a bit. Okay, let's try that again. It's been a while since I've welded a little cold and not in the temperature sense of the word. All right, so, ouch. Don't let big vice grips land on your toes. They hurt. Excellent. Brush. Good weld. Let's see if I can keep it up. All righty. Oh, 
excellent. Good. inspection later um, after everything gets laid in um, I'm gonna grind it smooth so yeah this is just part of the patina that you know guys do Oh, uh, in my other video, I made a mistake. I said that it was a 5,000 pound worn winch. No, 12,000 pound winch. 5,000 pound winch wouldn't be much good unless you had about eight or 10 snatch blocks if you got mired. Maybe not that much, two or three, but 5,000 pound winch certainly is not strong enough on a single line pole to unstick this truck. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do the end out and uh, and then come back across. touch it is a, uh, a skill that can uh, diminish over time if you don't practice all right so I'm gonna come this way now that I was looking for was perishable. You don't stay up on it. You can lose it. it comes back. Little holes to fill 
here. I bought this Lincoln Pro Core 100 welder all the way back in 2004 when I bought my first weasel. This thing's been running ever since. Okay, it's right here in the corner, so I'm just going to do a nice bead. Excellent. Okay, I know that got it that time. Okay, I'm gonna stop here just for a moment. Okay, so I, I pulled the, ow, pulled the camera out of the gimbal so we get a close up. Now I left this filler piece of metal a little proud between here and here so that I can grind it smooth. And after I grind that weld down and hit it with a flapper wheel disc, um, it's going to look good as gold. Okay, so I'm not going to record this side because we've already done it on one side and uh, I don't want my videos being too long but thanks for watching this one have a great day later all right I finished smoothing out the welded areas I have my tow hooks and bolts and washers and the front bumper ready to install so let me get the gimbal turned on here there Zoom in a little bit. I've been waiting for this for a while. Somebody's burning some bush. Anyway, oh man. Okay. So, the bumper probably weighs about 75, 80 pounds. I 
got to get me a couple more big honking bolts. I also noticed that I have a coolant leak. It's coming from the bottom. Wait a minute, it holds. Put a whole lot of pressure on these because I have a whole bunch more to uh, get bolts, nuts and bolts to install. Save this from the junkyard. That bolt's right there. That's so you can put the hand crank starting rod through, and this is the outer support. So that gets the bumper back on. And I don't think I have any more longer bolts than these. So that's it, man. That wraps up this whole video of the uh, welding. Oh, I'm going to primer, primer those pieces there right now. And uh, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah. So. Uh, next time we'll do some more. All right, so we're going to fix something else, something else after this. Later.